Uh, Congressman, I know you've had a lot of votes and you've had a busy day, so thank you for joining us on The Real Story. Uh, let's go back to, to, to the original day that this all happened, and there was much discussion about whether or not the police should have this so-called military equipment, like Bearcats and such, to go in and to be able to keep others safe, including themselves, when we have terror attacks and massive gun shootings like we saw uh, early Sunday morning. I know as a Democrat that, that you actually don't agree with President Obama's stance on this, correct? I believe that when properly trained, this equipment is very effective in situations like we saw in Orlando, and I voted uh, to make sure that when departments are trained, they're allowed to use this. Now, we've seen examples where untrained departments, whether it was in Ferguson or other uh, violent situations, that uh, they weren't as effective. But here, uh, it worked. We saw in Dallas a shooting uh, last year uh, where uh, someone went on a shooting spree across the city, and it was the SWAT team's uh, Bearcat and other equipment uh, that helped uh, bring down that shooter. So uh, when the police are trained, uh, this equipment helps them take down and fight against people who are sometimes better armed than they are. All right, there's a filibuster going on right now where you are uh, on Capitol Hill in the Senate, though, with regard to gun control. Uh, it's being brought on by uh, Democrats there. And it's interesting because there has been sort of a, a, a change amongst some Republicans in the last 24 hours that quite possibly they might be in agreement with the Democrats on this with regard to not allowing people on the terror watch list or the no fly list to be able to purchase guns. What's your read on this? There's no reason this can't be a bipartisan filibuster. I was an intern on Capitol Hill when September 11th happened, and after that tragedy, we saw Republicans and Democrats come together to make the country more secure. And I think what you're seeing is that Republicans uh, and Democrats do believe that the easiest uh, solution that we can take right now, the, the step that we can take that will make the biggest difference is saying that if you're too dangerous to get on a plane because you're on a watch list, you should be too dangerous to buy a weapon. All right. Centrist uh, Republican Bob Dold, Republican out of Illinois, had this to say. I rise today because thoughts and prayers are not enough. Congress should immediately move forward and pass the Denying Firearms and Explosives to Dangerous Terrorists Act. This common sense bill would prohibit suspected terrorists from purchasing guns or explosives. Keeping dangerous weapons out of the hands of people who wish to do our country harm is a solution that we should all be able to get behind. And Congressman Donald Trump tweeting earlier today this, I will be meeting with the NRA who has endorsed me about not allowing people on the terrorist watch list or the no-fly list to buy guns. Uh, wow, right? <laughs> You know, Bob Dole needs more friends in Congress, and I hope his Republican colleagues uh, join him because uh, right now uh, Americans are asking, why can Republican leadership not work with Democrats on this issue to make sure that the most dangerous people don't have the most dangerous weapons? And I also want to add, you know, what we can do with this bill is make sure that if you were once on a watch list, once you come off that watch list, perhaps law enforcement should be notified if you go and buy weapons. Because in this case, uh, this individual came off the watch list, right. went and bought an assault weapon, and police had no way of knowing. All right, uh, Congressman Swalwell, thanks for your time today. Thank you for having me on.